Well, how the saying goes, when Mother Nature gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Yeah, Mark, that is certainly <laughs> the case with wine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a on the wine hat. You probably know my wife and I like wines. Well, the case of the Ohio wine producers this year, they've made some of the best wines in the country in 2012, and they have the weather to thank. Hmm. I smell pineapples. I smell some pear, some peach. For Nick Ferrante of Ferrante Winery in Geneva, this is gold in a glass. His latest 2012 wines are still in the barrel, but they promise to be the best he's ever produced. I think it's the greatest vintage I think this region is going to see. All 140-plus Ohio wineries are raving about the 2012 grape-growing season. It was perfect summer weather for growing grapes. You remember. Last summer, don't you? The monster drought, 28 days above 90 degrees and no rain for months. Made for a smaller crop with small berries with really intense flavors. While other crops withered, turns out Ohio-grown wine grapes thrived. You see, great wines and drought do go together. The intense heat and lack of rain meant less water in each grape, higher sugar content, and bigger flavors. The reason great wines are made in California is hot and dry all summer long every year. Well, Ohio 2012, the closest you'll ever get to a California summer. Grapes like dry feet. They like to struggle. They like relatively shy yields. Daniela Winchell of the Ohio Wine Producers Association says the buzz is building around the state and beyond about the 2012 Ohio wines. And even though the wines are still two to three months away from official release, she says the whites, like the Chardonnays, the Rieslings, they'll stand up to the best in the U.S. And the even more temperamental red wines, the 2012 Pinot Noirs and the Cabernet Francs, are big and bold. We are no longer your mother, grandmother's wine. We are producing something that will satisfy a connoisseur's palate. We produce things that will satisfy an entry-level palate. The wines will be bottled and released beginning this spring. That means you won't have to travel far to get West Coast quality wines without the West Coast price tag. The majority of Ohio wines are priced between 8 and 20 bucks a bottle. Mm, and more good news for Ohio wines. The eyes of the wine world will be focused right here in northern Ohio in 2013. America's greatest winemakers will gather this fall right here in Greater Cleveland for the annual Wine America Convention. That means some of the biggest names in Napa Valley in Sonoma will be right here in Cleveland to taste what Ohio wineries have to offer. It's pretty exciting. Very yeah, that is nice. awesome. Delicious That's stuff. Let yeah, me tell you. Yeah, we got bragging rights, huh? <laughs>